threat to America. It's not ISIS at the border. It's not the drug cartels coming through the wide open border. No, nope. it's all of you people who care about your liberty and Puerto Rican nationalists for whatever reason. And on Sunday, whistleblower by the military industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by the shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We will take all guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. I'm Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com in El Paso, Texas, right across the border from Juarez, where there are reports of an imminent threat and attack by the ISIS terrorist group, which we all know is funded by the CIA. Now, there are reports that they've heard some chatter over the radio that the threat could be a VBIED. And what that is is a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device. A driver gets in the vehicle, drives it into his target, and it flattens the place out completely. Now, is this a false flag to, to stage a reason to take our liberties away? I mean, we saw how quickly things went to hell and a martial law status was in place in Ferguson. Don't forget about that. Or is this an actual threat, a legitimate threat by ISIS on our southern borders? So this is something you need to think about, and I encourage the people watching this to comment on this at the bottom of the video on YouTube. But let me get back to another thing. If this is an actual legitimate threat, and it can be because one of the reasons El Paso, uh, Fort Bliss, this weekend shut down a lot of its main gates and only left them open for personnel with DOD cat cards. That is a white army uh, uh, ID that has a chip in it, has all their information on that. And then also all the vehicles were subject to being searched by the MPs at the gates with dogs, uh, looking for stuff like that, explosive, things of that nature. So they've, they've definitely taken that threat to be a serious threat, and they've heightened their security. Um, so that, that, that kind of adds a little bit of legitimacy to the threat. Now, another thing as well, though, if this is a real threat, will the Democrats take the blame? because they have done nothing to help secure our borders whatsoever. You know, we're, we're spending $30 million on getting these huge Border Patrol facilities built. Meanwhile, behind me is a gate that's been left open. We've seen it. You've seen the video. It's a viral video. Now, this is a main gate right off of I-10, but literally just around the corner over here is a small place that I'm going to take us to uh, tomorrow. And you can see, you can walk right across the river. It's right on the U.S.-Mexico border right there. It's not that hard. People watch these videos like, oh, it'd be so hard. No, it's not. Stop playing around with yourself. This is a serious, serious issue. And it's funny. The borders are weak. There's ISIS supposedly in Juarez right now wanting to, you know, uh, incite violence and, you know, take out targets on American soil, that's a pretty legitimate threat. Even if it doesn't happen, that's still something that you should take seriously. And if there is an actual attack that really happens on our American soil right here in a border town like El Paso, you know only a matter of time they will use that to take away our liberties. There will be martial law up and down throughout the country and every small American city and then it's going to move to everything tanks up and down the street that's it Joe Biggs in El Paso chaos. 
stage. He's coming up live. Stay with us. Last Friday, and again on Monday, said that a terror attack is imminent and that it is specific targets like Fort Bliss. Now, whether this is real or more hyped so that Homeland Security can grab more of our civil liberties and freedoms isn't even an issue because the border is wide open. We have video of the border fences a month ago, two weeks ago, and last night, wide open. They actually open the gates at night People just pour it back and forth, doing whatever they want. It's a giant facade. It's a giant joke. We noticed this about a year ago. We pointed it out in news reports about six months ago. Two weeks ago, the actual training manual for TSA came out, admitting in the memo that they have been told for years to let illegals fly with no ID. But citizens get their braziers groped, naked body scans, your genitals groped, your children groped, your shoes off, sh you know, jackets off, shoes off, all to train you that the state is God and that you're a prisoner. It's beyond security theater. And as much as I bash the individual TSA minions, most of them just want a job. Some of them are on power trips, obviously. That's come out over and over again, and a lot of them want to rob the bags and the rest of it. The people that are behind it are our Congress and the special interests that control them. And all over the world, this type of thing is going on in an attempt to train law-abiding citizens that they are basically prisoners. This is an induction into tyranny. So Joe Biggs coming up in an hour, about 20 minutes from now, from El Paso. He was stationed there for a while. He has a lot of sources there at the military base. And we have ICE and Border Patrol sources, obviously high up in the Border Patrol. They've been on the show. But since they've been given gag orders, basically threatened with arrest if they speak out about the admitted treason and how the Border Patrol is there now to complete the cycle of human smuggling, close quote. Think about how epically over the top that is. That Obama is in the news saying, I'm not doing immigration reform right now. And Boehner is in the news saying he's not going to do immigration reform right now until next year. And that it's a great idea and that this is a wonderful reform. Republican and Democratic leadership working together. Meanwhile, they've already basically legalized all of the illegals by fiat. Between three and five years before any of these illegals even get an immigration hearing. In fact, that that is in the news today. Judge sets hearings for illegal alien minors four years from now. The average is four years. And welfare is automatically extended. Tax refunds are automatically extended. You can get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some households get over $80 million a year in tax refunds in Austin, Texas. That's come out in the news and no one gets in trouble. It was over $100 million at one house in Atlanta. Now, the Democratic Party fences this money through. The people at these houses are just cutouts. They're not getting the money. I mean, do you think Akron on video was ready to run child sex slaves and, and help the Veritas Project posing as pimps run sex slaves at Akron after Akron facility? Do you think that's just where they stop, ladies and gentlemen? This is an organized crime takeover that will implode the country. Miami schools flooded with 1,400 new immigrants from Central America. Father of man killed by illegal immigrant demands president visit son's grave. That's another thing. The world is emptying out its prisons and giving them plane tickets and ship passage 
or bus passage to the United States. As Latin America collapses, as other areas of the world go into global meltdown, the Caribbean is in meltdown. Look up the numbers. Double the crime from what the Caribbean had just five years ago. Even places that had low crime, like Grand Cayman, are seeing an increase. The Bahamas is overrun, and one of the most dangerous places in the world now. Society is breaking down all over the planet. Every military think tank metric shows that. Secretary of Defense Hagel admits that. And what is Obama doing and his controllers but accelerating this? Problem, reaction, solution. Now, I covered immigration first because that's coming up at the bottom of the next hour. And that is clearly the end of our country that's happening right now. The bait is set to now bring unlimited numbers in as the world